Hi there, this is Dalton in Cloud. Uh, today we're going to be going over another certification. Uh, I know this channel, uh, probably from the intro at this point, uh, says that we talk about financials as well as uh, certifications, IT routes, uh, and uh, career growth. Uh, and we've been doing a lot more certifications than anything else, but uh, certifications uh, do lead to career growth and career growth does lead to financial wealth. Uh, so uh, we'll get into the rest once we help get uh, the rest of this taken care of. So in today's uh, certification route, we're going to be going over the an associate level uh, cloud certification, uh, AWS uh, Solutions Architect Associate. Um, I will say we're going into this just because uh, for the sysops administrator as well as for the developer associate, uh, those go a little bit more in depth uh, technically, although it is recommended that the uh, developer associate is actually the easiest out of the associate level exams, uh, and that very well may be, but uh, I've passed uh, one of the solutions architect associate exams, not the uh, S001, but the S001, um, but Still, a lot of the same practices uh, go hand in hand with this. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so here we're just gonna take a look at the available certification route, routes again. So uh, this time we're gonna be going the Solutions Architect Associate route. As I said in the previous video, if you do eventually want to get a professional level certification, it's actually recommended to get uh, two associate level certifications. I recommend the Solutions Architect and the SysOps Associate. This will give you a really broad knowledge for what you'll need to know for the Solutions Architect Professional. So uh, we did go a little bit into uh, the other certification routes and what the prerequisites are. Uh, there is no prerequisites for exams until you get to the professional, really. So none of the specialty ones really have that. Uh, I will say uh, it's unspoken prerequisites we're talking about. Uh, but as I said, we won't go too far into that. Uh, we talked about that a lot in the previous video for the cloud practitioner. So if that is something uh, you want to learn more about, please go back, watch the video. Uh, I'm probably going to be setting up timeline gaps. so you could specifically know what point in the video to go to. So uh, let's look at the associate level certifications. Uh, when you do the drop down on the uh, certification prep page, they uh, give you all three and just break down of what the sample questions are. Uh, I do recommend you take these sample question uh, tests. Uh, we'll look at the exam guide again. It breaks down everything you need. It does say one recommended one year hands-on uh, experience. Uh, this isn't mandatory. So if you're still within your first year, uh, you're still more than happy to take this. I know I actually, uh, after being introduced to cloud, I took this exam six months after being introduced to it uh, and was able to pass. I actually took it three months after I was introduced to it, really confident from the previous exam, the cloud practitioner, and I almost bombed this. I didn't bomb it. I was really close to passing. Uh, I considered it bombing uh, because I didn't pass. <laughs> um, however, uh, you can take it uh, before one year. It's just recommended uh, you go through some of the uh, learning pre best practices we're going to be going over today. So go through this. Uh, this gives us just an idea of what different uh, points, talk points we're gonna be going over. Uh, design resilient architecture, uh, design high performance architecture, and design secure applications and architecture. Uh, those are the main target points uh, for most of the exam. And then the design, design cost optimization architecture are, is like 18%. Uh, so uh, I do highly recommend you go over these uh, sections and uh, it, it'll break down what was required for all of these. And then as we talked about in the last video, uh, where it says the white papers and frequently asked questions, 
go through every single one of these even if you just uh, read through it once and then skim through it before the exam it's still recommended you go through these the main one that they're going to really go over and drill down into you is well architected framework and what the five pillars of a well architected framework are uh, performance optimization security reliability performance and cost optimization those are the five pillars uh, it's high re highly recommended you go over these so look at these pdfs uh, open them up go through them uh, you don't really need to worry about anything else on the page as long as you go through what the overview is uh, skim through this and then really read these pillars and understand them uh, and there is a whole course for that uh, in uh, a cloud guru slash Linux Academy so you could definitely go through that and then the frequently asked questions for the different sections so there's Amazon EC2 as one of the applications within AWS that they're going to be going over uh, pretty in depth. Uh, there's S3, there's VPCs, there's Route 53, there's RDS, there's SQS. Uh, so really go over those, really, really go over those uh, frequently asked questions and those white papers and those five pillars. Uh, if you understand those five pillars, uh, it's going to make everything else so much easier and uh, this is actually something I wanted to show you uh, so they do offer free digital training for uh, getting ready for the exam this is that link uh, it will be provided in the uh, video so training details uh, curriculum uh, I I do recommend any free training that there is to offer that you just take it uh, however uh, this is not going to prepare you all the way for the exam, I can tell you right now. Uh, but this will get you a good idea of what you're going to need to know. So first thing we're going to look into, no, we'll go over this later. Um, so no one likes a subscription. Uh, so uh, for those of you who aren't really wanting a subscription-based uh, learning, uh, as, as I always recommend to Udemy, Udemy is amazing. They do have a subscription where if you're going to do a couple courses, it's twenty dollars a month for like their pro version. Uh, and I do believe Stephen Merrick and a few others are on here as well for the pro version. So going into it, first uh, Stephen Merrick, uh, amazing person for the cloud community. Um, so his solutions architect professional has helped hundreds of thousands of people uh, already, as you could tell, forty nine thousand ratings and he has four point uh, almost 50,000 ratings and he has 4.7 re star review so if that doesn't prove to you how amazing he is and he does update his course uh, courses religiously to help people out uh, learn and grow so if you and he takes the exam I think every three to six months is how often he takes the exam just to make sure uh, and he also takes feedback from students uh, to make sure that everything's updated properly. So a really amazing person. He's amazing instructor as well. So next, uh, Ryan Krunenberg uh, from A uh, Cloud Guru. So uh, I, I've already talked about him last time. He was the only exam I really could hands down recommend for the cloud practitioner. Uh, Again, I this was the first uh, study exam that I took uh, myself uh, for the Solutions Architect Associate. I did take uh, Stefan Merricks as well. I think uh, both of them are very in informative and they both work for getting the job done. I will say this, this course on Udemy is not as up-to-date. If you want the more up-to-date content from Ryan and his team, I would actually go and sign up for the free trial on the eCloud Guru platform if you haven't already. Or, uh, you know, if you're if you know you're going to take the exam, the exams for AWS are cheaper. It's a hundred bucks uh, per exam compared to something like the uh, CompTIA's exams. So, fifty bucks, uh, or uh, yeah, fifty bucks for just the personal basic 
if, if you just want to do it for a month, uh, I recommend you do that. Because as I said, you're going to get the practice exams in the practice labs, and that's going to help out hand over fist. So I do highly recommend that. Uh, so both both Stefan Merrick and Ryan Krunenberg's, if you don't want a subscription based, uh, you know the joke about Udemy platform. Uh, it's on sale only for a brief time, but that's just their platform. It's always on sale all the time. Uh, so sign up with them. Get uh, get get the coupon code from whatever coupon site you like to frequent. Uh, get it for twelve bucks, ten bucks, fifteen bucks, however much. Uh, and I do recommend those courses. Next, uh, it's going to be someone I've not actually taken their course content. Uh, this is by uh, David Bomble, Anthony uh, Sequeira, and then uh, Network Chuck or uh, Chuck Keith. So I do have to say uh, I do watch Network Chuck and David Bomble's content uh, religiously, uh, as far as any of their networking content they have to produce. Uh, and whenever they go over exams, uh, even when, uh, network Chuck used to work at CBT nuggets, uh, he produced such amazing content, so easy to follow, so easy to understand. So, uh, I've not actually taken this course. I can't see where you could go wrong taking it though. So, uh, I do recommend, uh, these instructors in general. Uh, Anthony, I've not seen as much of his content, um, but they do talk about him and, and uh, have videos with him quite frequently. So I'm sure uh, you can't go wrong with him either. But uh, if, if you would like uh, to try their exam, the more content you could get, the better, especially if you're not going to go with a subscription based platform. Uh, you can get all three of these for probably 45 bucks, and it's a one-time fee, and you have it forever. So uh, always helpful to have, especially if you're sharing your account with someone and you're all chipping in to learn. So last, this, you're going to need this. <laughs> I, I won't say you're going to need any specific thing, but this is one thing I'll say you're going to need. So these are practice exams. They're not exam dumps. These are practice exams. Brought to you by John Bonso uh, with uh, Tutorials Dojo. John does an amazing job, amazing with all of his practice exams. You cannot go wrong taking this. It gives you six practice exams. Each practice exam is 65 questions. You are getting your bang for your buck with this. Even if you got it at this price point, you're still getting a deal. This is going to help you pass your exam. He goes and when when you review the questions, he has in-depth ex explanations why the you got that answer wrong. So there is no way you could fail uh, after studying this. I can guarantee it. Well, I, I'm not going <laughs> to. I can almost guarantee it. Nine, uh, Eleven nines guarantee. <laughs> we'll, we'll say that. Uh, and for anyone else who's already been done studying and gotten your uh, solutions architect professional, uh, you will know what that means. <laughs> so uh, we'll leave it with that. So again, uh, A Cloud Guru, uh, you can't go wrong with this. I talked about this in the Cloud Practitioner, but uh, for for what you're getting. For three seventy nine a year or four ninety nine a year, you you honestly cannot go wrong with either of these price points, uh, especially if you actually plan on using the content. Uh, the, these are just unbelievable prices that you cannot beat, especially for what you're getting. You're getting the cloud sandboxes. You're getting built in labs, uh, different applications you could spin spin up, uh, and then uh, whenever you spin up a lab, whatever. Uh, contents you're using in the lab will not count against what you're already spinning up for other applications that you're testing. So that's very helpful as well. So it won't like terminate one of your other application test beds. Uh, and as, as, as previously mentioned, uh, the Solutions Architect Associate uh, within uh, Linux Academy and A, A Cloud Guru, it's actually been split up split up into uh, various sections. 
Um, but it's still going to be the same format. You'll have uh, uh, as the cloud practitioner we see here, uh, it's going to be uh, the introduction, uh, what the course can do, what the ex the blueprint is, uh, and what's going what about the, a little bit about the instructor. It gives a breakdown of each section. At the end of each section, there's going to be a major quiz. Uh, and then there's going to be a mega quiz or two at the end of the uh, overall content, once you're done with all of these sections. So you honestly can't go wrong uh, with getting a Linux Academy slash a Cloud Guru uh, subscription. I, I honestly don't think that any of the other competitors could beat that. I know some of the other competitors have higher price points. Uh, CBT Nuggets and then the uh, highest tier subscription for um, IT Pros is actually pretty expensive too, especially if you want the labs and the practice questions and the whole shebang. Um, that may change with their new partnership, but we'll see. Uh, but overall, I, I gotta say, uh, for what you're getting, the uh, technology that you're getting, uh, the study material that you're getting, the uh, lab material you're getting uh, with a cloud guru, you can't beat that. Uh, you can't beat that with a stick. <laughs> um, but it, it's it's more than it. Think of it this way: you're gonna pay how much for a college course, uh, and you're gonna get one semester's worth out of it. Especially if you're doing accelerated college work. Uh, coursework and you're only doing eight week uh, courses uh, you're only going to get eight weeks out of it this you get uh, five hundred dollars and you get the whole year uh, and you're not paying something extra for a lab material you're not paying an extra two hundred dollars or one hundred dollars for a lab material <laughs> it, it, on top of what you already paid for that class <laughs> so I hundred percent hands down recommend it um, and no, again, I'm not sponsored. Uh, this isn't something sponsored. It's just a uh, testimonial from something that uh, something I've used and I use all the time. Uh, and they're not limited to just uh, cloud. They do have a lot of Linux-based certification, uh, some coding-based, uh, getting Python exams and certificates. They have automation, a lot of automation. Uh, especially because that's where the the wave of the future is going. So, um, it, if if you're looking to get into a DevOps position, a cloud-based position, uh, Linux admin-based position, anything such as that, I do recommend their coursework. So, without further ado, um, this is the end of the video. Uh, as I say at the end of all my videos, uh, we do have. Uh, a few uh quite a bit of slots left in the discord server uh in that discord server you could hop in you could uh build study groups with other people who are looking to get certified uh share resources find new resources for different exams something that you're interested in uh, if there's not resources available you could go into the water cooler you could ask uh for uh anyone who's trying to take a certain exam and if we get enough requests uh, for a certain exam and to get study resources that have been tested and tried and validated within the past, uh, I'd say month, uh, that's usually how far back we go, just as far as a month, try to get people who have uh, taken exams and what they used to get uh, in their background. So we could try to get as close to almost no understanding of what the subject is to passing that certification to really getting making sure we get quality uh, study resources. Um, without further ado, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.